Well, good morning again, everybody. Chaplain Joe back at you here again. We're continuing our series in faith and patience, and I want to continue on what we talked about last week, talking about what Elijah did when he preached or he basically taught or prophesied unto, unto King Ahab that it wasn't going to rain for three and a half years, and also what he did with the prophets of Baal. And we spoke last week about some of the things that you need to do between the promise and the performance, i.e., what do you do in the in-between of when God speaks to you a promise and when that promise actually manifests and shows up in your life. Because as we talked about last week or last month, it may be a while between when God says something and when that something actually shows up in your life. It may be a week or months, in some cases even years. So what do you do between the space, between the promise and the performance? Last week we dealt with three things. I'm gonna talk about those three things and expound on a little bit more today. But there's actually eight things that I'm gonna give you in the next couple of weeks of what we can do between the space, between the promise and the performance. We talked about last week that Elijah in, in 1 Kings chapter 18, Elijah remained faithful to who he was as a prophet and as a man of God, and he walked in his character. That is very, very key. Saints, what you gotta do when you're waiting on God for that promise to manifest in your life, continue to remain faithful, continue to be consistent in what you know to do. I tell people all the time, keep on keeping on in what you know to do why you're still waiting. So you might not know what God's will is, or you may not know what God wants you to do, or you may not know when it's gonna show up in your life, but until it happens, do what you know to do in the meantime. Be faithful and be consistent. The second thing you gotta do, in the, while you're waiting, where all these challenges and all these things are pushing against you, remain consistent and never allow your outward circumstances to change your inward disposition. Never allow your outside to change what's going on in the inside. Now that's very hard sometimes because our flesh rises up and we get angry and we have all these things. But don't let the outside to determine who you are on the inside. Let your light shine and continue to be that Christian that God's calling you to be. And don't let the outside change your inside. Let the inside change your outside, if you will. Also, you know, Elijah worshiped God. Now we talked about this last week. Worshiping God is very important. Because there's an old song that says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Worshiping God does a couple things. It magnifies God so big that God becomes bigger than your circumstances. So God becomes bigger than your challenges instead of the other way around. So worshiping God makes God bigger to you so, God, so your perspective of God is bigger than your challenges. The other thing it says, it says in Psalms 16 and 11, that in God's presence is the fullness of joy. So do you need more joy in your life? then get into God's presence so you can experience the happiness and joy that comes from the Lord. And worshiping God helps you do that. And lastly, Elijah sowed water. You know, he sowed water in the midst of a famine. So sow a seed. So if you, you know, if you have problems, you know, in your marriage, then help somebody else that has problems in their marriage. You know, whatever need you have, sow a seed in that area. You know, bless somebody else and help somebody. And the Bible says, you know, you reap what you sow. So sow a seed in the area that you may have a need. That might not happen right away, but sow good, sow good thoughts, sow good seeds, and help somebody else along the way. So that way you can reap the harvest in that area for when you have a problem. Until then, I'm going to stop there. Until then, I'll talk about uh, what we can do next week about things four and five next week. Until then, God bless. See you next time.